Inspirational Quotes by Elon Musk, founder of Tesla and SpaceX, brought to you by InstaRead. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. It is important to view knowledge as a sort of a semantic tree. Make sure you understand the fundamental principles, i.e., the trunk and big branches, before you get into the leaves and details, or there's nothing for them to hang on to. You should take the approach that you're wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. I think it's important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. The normal way we conduct our lives is by analogy. It is possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. I think it would be great to be born on Earth and die on Mars, just hopefully not at the point of impact. Constantly seek criticism. A well-thought-out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. No, I won't ever give up. I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I'm just trying to think about the future and not be sad. If you need inspiration, don't do it. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. I came to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. Really, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. Any product that needs a manual to work is broken. The idea of lying on a beach is my main thing just sounds like the worst. It sounds horrible to me. I would go bonkers. I would have to be on serious drugs. I'd be super duper bored. I like high intensity. In terms of the internet, it's like humanity acquiring a collective nervous system. Whereas previously, we were more like a, like a collection of cells that communicated by diffusion. With the advent of the internet, it was suddenly like we got a nervous system. It's a hugely impactful thing. I take the position that I'm always to some degree wrong, and the aspiration is to be less wrong. One of the really tough things is figuring out what questions to ask. Once we figure out the questions, then the answer is relatively easy. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better. One of the biggest mistakes we made was trying to automate things that were super easy for a person to do, but super hard for a robot to do. They were building a Ferrari for every launch, when it was possible that a Honda Accord might do the trick. You need to live in a dome initially, but over time, you could terraform Mars to look like Earth and eventually walk around outside without anything on. So, it's a fixer-upper of a planet. Every person in your company is a vector. Your progress is determined by the sum of all vectors. I could go and buy one of the islands in the Bahamas and turn it into my personal fiefdom. 
but I'm much more interested in trying to build and create a new company. Nothing is more permanent than a temporary government program. When I was a little kid, I was really scared of the dark, but then I came to understand dark just means the absence of photons in the visible wavelength, 400 to 700 nanometers. Then I thought, well, it's really silly to be afraid of the lack of photons. Then I wasn't afraid of the dark anymore after that. If you buy a ticket to hell, it isn't fair to blame hell. I think we have a duty to maintain the light of consciousness, to make sure it continues into the future. If humanity is to become multiplanetary, the fundamental breakthrough that needs to occur in rocketry is a rapidly and completely reusable rocket. Achieving it would be on a par with what the Wright brothers did. It's the fundamental thing that's necessary for humanity to become a spacefaring civilization. America would never have been colonized if ships weren't reusable. Life needs to be more than just solving problems every day. You need to wake up and be excited about the future. I really like computer games, but then if I made really great computer games, how much effect would that have on the world? I was raised by books, books, and then my parents. I think it's possible for ordinary people to choose to be extraordinary. When I was a child, there's one thing I said, I never want to be alone. That's what I would say. My children didn't choose to be born. I chose to have children. They owe me nothing. I owe them everything. Science is discovering the essential truths about what exists in the universe. Engineering is about creating things that never existed. America is the spirit of human exploration distilled. Education is basically downloading data and algorithms into your brain. There have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Why do you want to live? What's the point? What inspires you? What do you love about the future? I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. One of the really tough things in figuring out what questions to ask, once you figure out the question, then the answer is relatively easy. With automation comes abundance. Stupendous amount of thinking has gone into sex without purpose, without probation, without procreation, which is actually quite a silly action in the absence of procreation. The bottom line is that the law of accelerating returns impacts everything, but it is more exponential in some industries than in others. Remember, you want to optimize for happiness, not less sadness. You want to have an ambition that is beyond your reach. You want to shoot higher than people predict you're going to possibly achieve because the risk of just being content is too high. If you open things up exponentially, the prizes are very big, but the winners are also very big. The chances that we are the only civilization in the universe, I think, are much lower than 1%. If I had turned to politics and religion and not super cool things like electric cars, 
then I probably would have been starving to death by now. The law of accelerating returns is the idea that every month gets faster in money, power, innovation. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. Visit instaread.co to get more insights from this and thousands of other books. Use the code YouTube to get a discount on your subscription.